Hey guys, how's it going? It's A.P. Eric. We're going to check out this game called Grimshade. This is the Nintendo Switch version. Let's go ahead and continue where I left off. I just basically breezed through the introduction of the game. But speaking of introductions, welcome. If this is your first time coming to the channel, feel free to hit that subscription button. We like to upload multiple times a day. Lots of content here. Join the A.B. Nation. So let's go ahead and uh, so this is where we're at. People talk about leaving a mark on the world. This isn't what they mean. Oh, okay. So here we go. We're going to start a battle. And uh, let's follow this. So it kind of plays like a tactical game. So this one shouldn't pose much of a problem if you're new to tactical games. A few key concepts you should be aware of. Combat characters take turns to perform actions. Order which they do is displayed at the bottom of the screen. Character further from the left is the one taking the action. All the characters. Okay, so that's just saying the timeline. Characters fight using combat skills. A list of available skills is displayed in the bottom right. Each character has a set of skills that's unique to that particular character. Battlefield left to the player. Alright. To use a melee skill, first select it in the skill bar. Performance considered an action. Okay, here we go skill bar um let's do it okay so there we go that was my round let's see if he attacks me so i just avoided an attack some characters are capable of avoiding all right so it's pretty standard it's not it's not anything that you can't figure out on your own So let's shock them. There we go. I think I killed them. Victory is mine. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead. Ooh, battle saved. So it saves after the battles. So I kind of like how it's like an overhead map view, whatever. And you see the enemies that you come up on. It's not random, like classic RPG where you, it's random encounters. Look at this guy. Help. The guy in yellow cargo pants. That's what it literally was the name was over the avatar. Let me switch my camera so you guys can see what the names of the characters are. So my guy's name is Alistair. This guy's the guy in yellow cargo pants. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Alright, so look at his nose too. What's your name, kid? Kiba, sir, I think. Name's Alistair. Alistair Garuda. Okay, Alistair. Go ahead. So there are two in my party now. All these guys are dead. All my friends are dead. Push me to the edge. All my friends are dead. Here we go. Let's fight this battle. I mean, it seems okay so far. All right, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Let's attack this guy. Wow, I didn't even need to play as the other character. I just totally defeated him like nothing. It looks like there's multiple paths, of course, or some exploration element. So hopefully, you know what? I'm not going to take too long, though, because I think RPG games... Our personal experience for you guys to explore on your own to uh to learn and see and uh, also for spoilers and also it's just boring to watch people grind obviously this is going to be a, a grind heavy game so that's my ranged attack right there oh that took off like half his life very nice how much and it does not seem that the second character i have has any attacks And we're going to do the ranged attack again. There we go, because that's a thick boy. That's a thick ass boy. There we go. Okay, where are we going now? Come through. Up. Oh, some more enemies. Let's uh 
Let's go ahead and use my close attack. My melee. I think that got him. That's nice. Do you have to move your guy? I can wait. There we go. We'll choose wait. I avoided that attack. We'll choose wait again. Why'd that guy have two attacks in a row? That was uh, pretty strange, wasn't it? Let's attack. Boom. Knocked out half of it. Hold and wait. Boom, baby. Victory is mine. So, I mean, it's pretty standard so far as far as RPGs go. It doesn't seem like there's anything too innovative or groundbreaking. It is rather dark, though. Like, it, the, the, it looks better on my computer screen than it, than it does on my TV. On my TV, it's really dark. Like, it's almost straining my eyes to where, like, I almost want to just kind of move my light to the side like, like, like over there because it looks really difficult to look at oh look we're getting attacked get that door you gotta love introductions to RPGs they're always like intense there's always some kind of like escape or some kind of bomb or something there we go Hold them on, we have to keep moving. Quit with the sir thing, it's just Alistair. <laughs> okay, let's go. What's going on now anymore? Doesn't sound good, looks like these guys don't use doors. Oh, look at this big boy. Oh, we're surrounded. So I'm assuming this is like the first uh, major boss. Well, not exactly a boss, but you know what I mean first major fight I do like the graphics a little bit though they're like kind of I don't want to say cell shaded but they just kind of have like a little pop to them if that makes any sense hopefully this guy doesn't die okay ooh can't take any more of those. If I take any more of those, I will for sure die. There we go. Let's move this guy down. I don't know why it keeps popping up. With the, like, I know the info to the move. Did I kill a guy with one hit? Nice. No, I didn't. <laughs> I don't know why it keeps it keeps showing what the moves do, though, when, it, when I go to it. It's like, dude, I already know. Back off. Let's move down. Did I select wait? Did I choose the wrong move? Here we go. All right, got a little confused for a second. <laughs> I was like, wait, wait, did I pick the wrong thing? Let's choose this guy to go down. That guy's being shielded. Let's go up. Shoot. No! I didn't want to do that. Come up. Choose my abilities. There we go. See, I don't know why it keeps telling me what that is. I don't need the pop-ups no more. I already got it. So, so far it seems like a pretty average game. Nothing too out of the ordinary, nothing groundbreaking. It's okay, you know, if this is your type of thing. Look, I just found some stuff. It seems all right. If you're into RPGs, you might like this one. 
Some enemy counters will be found outside the path. Do not move the king's plot. Source of minerals. So there's crafting and stuff. Extra lookout. So that's telling me over there. It's an optional, optional fight. But you know what? I'm just gonna, just gonna go. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I'm going to end it right there. I don't want to keep you guys too bored. You know what? This one seems like it's something that might be okay. Something that you might be interested in. I don't want to go back too far into the thing. I don't have enough time to do a full-fledged review um, of this right now. But so far, it seems okay. What do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know. Subscribe if you haven't. I will see you guys on the next one. Peace out.